One of the reasons white women like to date black males is because in the white household, the white man is king, not the woman. But if she dates a white man, a black male, she will be in control. Maybe not of the relationship, but of the outcome of it. Because one phone call, she could destroy his life, Jonathan Majors. Okay, you see? You see? And what these black men don't understand is she's choosing you because she know ultimate and final control rests with her, not you. You see? So when you ask about white people teaching black history, I think it's the same kind of a situation. They want to be worshipped by us because many white people have a savior complex and so so you just saw that piece of um, video where Umar Johnson is pretty much speaking about race once again. This guy, um, I swear, this man knows how to make money when it comes to him preaching about race. He knows where the money is. Um, race is a booming big business here in America, but we'll discuss more about that. Real quick, my name is Ario DeJuice from WokeNations.com. Um, be sure to join our email list. This could be discovered on the website Woke nations.com i'll leave the link down below for your convenience or at your convenience last but not least this episode is sponsored by course careers which is a online tech school helping people earn between fifty thousand to one hundred thousand dollars plus per year working a job in tech such as it support technician what i'm doing right now literally software engineering ux ui designing graphic designing sales tech project management all those jobs are helping people earn that type of revenue and um, this could be possible by checking out Course Careers. More, from the, more information down below about the school. And let's talk finally. So, again, you saw that piece of video of Umar speaking about so-called black men and, um, you know, men dating Caucasian women. And he's just speaking about how I love how this dude, um, he knows where the money is. I said that before earlier in this video. Believe it or not, but race is a big business. Now, this is, or, or I know this to be true because of Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, they made millions of dollars off silly people who believed their message. Their message is just like Umar's message. We're oppressed as a so-called people. We need to unite. Um, nobody likes us because of our skin color. You know, um, just the whole racism talk, you know, talk. Uh, we need to vandalize and protest and scream and yell and be angry and only date within ourselves. We should not be dating Caucasians or anyone that's non-black. That's what he preaches. And that's the same stuff BLM preaches as well. The same nonsense. And like I said before, believe it or not, race is big business in America. I'm not sure about other countries. I'm sure it is. But I know here in America, it is definitely a booming business. And like I said before, BLM, um, they made a killing from this idea of promoting race or being pro-black. Silly people believe this stuff. Yes, in 2024, silly people follow Umar Johnson and Black Lives Matter. I love how everyone who follow Black Lives Matter, they post this stuff on their social media, you know, accounts or profiles, you know, and now they're not saying nothing anymore. They just, it just, Poof, just went away, just disappeared. BLM just disappeared along with their cheerleaders. Everyone, maybe you're one of them too, the cheerleaders, they just stopped talking. No more BLM topics, no more. It just vanished, right? You got played. You got finessed again by the same people who look just like you. The same people who look just like you took your money and played your ass. And Umar is doing the same exact thing. Same exact practice or, um, you know, talking points. I live downtown here, so it's going to be um, kind of noisy. A lot of traffic. But anyway, uh, yeah, you got you got finesse. And guess what? It's going to keep happening to you. It's going to keep happening. People who look just like you are, are going to always keep finding a way to make you give the money and have you be emotional because you love hearing this topic about race and the whole so-called black and white talk. That's all Umar has to do and you will believe his butt up and down. That's all they have to do because of how loud he speaks, how 
how confident he seems. You know, he has degrees and he's educated and he has nappy hair and wears dashikis and just talks really fast. Man, look, it's it's the oldest trick in the book. And it works, sadly, in 2024 on a lot of people still because you keep giving this man money. Now, I don't care if you give him money. That's not my business. This whole video is to show you that Umar knows exactly where he knows where the money is, just like just like BLM. My point of this video is to show you that race is a big business. Whether you like it or not, even the whole thing with Beyonce in the country song that she just put out. Now, I'm not bashing Beyonce, not at all, you know, but I'm just, again, painting this picture of showing you that race is a business. And that's exactly how you should look at it. But back to Beyonce, her song, this country song that she released, it had people talking because, oh, country stations, which is so-called Caucasian stations, a lot of air cool, excuse me, <laughs> but a lot of these stations were not playing Beyonce's music, right? And it just stirred up this whole race topic about she's a black woman and, oh, they're being racist. They're not letting her play her music because these are, you know, race, all this stuff, right? So... The moment I heard about this, I already knew what the game was, right? Now, let me uh, let me inform you on something real quick. Again, business. What does Beyonce have to do with this topic? A lot. Beyonce and her team knows how to promote her music and finesse people like you because that's exactly what's going to happen. How did they finesse you with this country song from Beyonce? Easy simple all they have to do is play the race card and they will have you going crazy angry oh we are oppressed oh nobody likes us this is discrimination all this topic it's a pr stunt it is a pr stunt let me explain they found a way to finesse you again by pretending this is another racist situation Oh, she's a black woman. She's a black person. They're not being fair because she's black. That's why they won't play her song on the radio because she's a black woman and all this crap. Now, when you heard that story or that or just that headline, you went crazy. Oh, we went. We we should we should protest. We should go crazy and blah 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 blah. The song got famous because of you. Not like you can't stop talking about the fact that it was. It wasn't being played because it's Beyonce, a so-called black person. They made this whole race thing where now the song is so popular because you can't stop talking about not just the song, but Beyonce and her not her 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 being, you know, like it's not fair because she's dark skinned or whatever, and uh, the song's not being played. And people are like, oh, because you know it's a country song. It has all the elements of a country song. It should be played on the country station, which is true. But because they know how to they know how to finesse you. With the PR stunt to get you talking, get people talking about the song, it's good press. It's marketing. It's genius strategy because it runs off you becoming emotional again. That's all they have to do is play the race card and you'll become emotional. So now the song is not being played. You're angry. You're mad. You know, and you now the song is popular because of that reason alone, the whole race thing. Now, it's it's it's. No one, people can't stop talking about Beyonce because of that situation alone. It's PR, it's marketing, and it works. All they have to do is finesse you by playing the race card, and you will always become emotional, which means you'll give them money some kind of way or fashion. Now, how did you give Beyonce money? Easy. Now you know the song, you went to listen to it, you probably like it. Easy. That's how they promote that's how they promoted the song to you with a race situation. Easiest trick in the book or oldest trick in the book, should I say. And Umar is doing the same exact thing for years. Black Lives Matter is doing this or has done. I haven't heard from these people in, 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 some, in some years now, really. They just vanished. But it's the oldest trick in the book. It even works on Caucasians. It does. It works on everybody because race is a business. That's all they have to do is play the race card and have people. It will have people like you constantly becoming victims of being. No, no, well, let me let me let me take that away, or just say that again. You're not a victim. You're just getting played. You you're just you're not a critical thinker. Basically, you don't you don't know how to think for yourself. And it's not me trying to bash you. I'm just showing you that this is exactly what kind of person you are. You are not a thinker. You need some other source. Umar 
uh, BLM or some type of source that keep playing a race card on you to think for you. What am I talking about? Umar is your leader. Umar tells you to be angry, you to feel like you're oppressed because your skin color. And he plays this whole race thing, talks about the history and you know, you know how so-called black men are they 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 they, they dislike themselves, right? They hate themselves because you're not dating a so-called black woman. This is all BS. It's act. Umar cares nothing about black people nothing umar cares about your money and he knows exactly how to do that by playing the race card with you over and over it because it sounds real again the loud speaking the fast talking you know the, like he has like a degree he wears the whole dashiki african stuff pan-africanism pro black i get it it's an act and it works sadly it's you getting finessed it's all rigged it's not real. This man does this Umar doesn't care anything about me being married to a Caucasian woman. He doesn't care about that. He doesn't, he doesn't, I know he doesn't. But he knows this is what he keeps, he has to keep pumping out this type of talk because that's how he makes his money. That's who pays him to go on these talks and keep preaching this stuff. They don't want to hear him saying something about Caucasian or our friends and we should unite. No, they don't want to hear. The whole pro-black stuff. And Umar knows that's what he has to keep giving them because they're paying him to be this person. And it listen, it's a it's a big booming business. That's it. That that is exactly the whole point of this video is to tell you and to show you and prove to you race in America is big business. That's how they always will keep people like you, whether you're so-called black, white, Hispanic, keep you people being finessed over and over again because you are emotional and you're not a thinker and that's not me trying to disrespect you by saying that but that's exactly who these people are who follow umar johnson they're not critical thinkers if they were thinkers they would see it just like me right they will understand that race is a business they will understand that easily they will understand that simple logic by just seeing right through umar and seeing right through blm because look, like i said BLM, BLM made millions off you. I'm not sure if you heard me. <laughs> they made millions of dollars from donation money. That's you giving him giving them money. What's crazy is this. Nobody got arrested from the fraud organization they've been pushing or this movement, which is BLM, right? No one was sent to jail by being fakes. They took that money. They, meaning Black Lives Matter leaders or whomever, these founders, they took black money, right? They took that money from you and they went and purchased houses in Caucasian communities. Nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to say anything about this. How are you pro-black, but you live in Caucasian communities? That means you're not pro-black. You're an actress or an actor. And you got finessed by these people. They took your black owned money and bought houses, lavish trips, fancy cars with your money. That money went nowhere near so-called black communities. Let me start saying black ninja communities because black people are not stupid. Black people are very smart, educated, hardworking, talented, raise their families. They're married. They are good people. Just like there's good Caucasians and good Hispanics and good Asians, good Indians. But there's a lot of ninjas in these communities, believe it or not. And the people who follow Umar, I believe, are a bunch of ninjas. The same people who follow Black Lives Matter are not black people. They're ninjas. They don't think for themselves. They don't. How do I know this? Because you follow stupid messages like Umar's message. That's how I know you're not a thinker. If you were thinking, you would see right through these people. Again, back to BLM. That money that they made from y'all went straight to their pockets and now it's circulating or it has circulated in Caucasian communities. The mansions they own or they bought, excuse me, were not mansions in so-called black communities, but the opposite. You got finessed. Umar is no different. Umar takes your hardworking black money and books trips, right? Umar has no problem booking trips. Flying in airplanes, excuse me, or airlines owned by Caucasians. <laughs> and guess what? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with BLM living in Caucasian communities. I have no problem with that because I'm not pro-black. I can do whatever I want. You can't do it because you're pro-black. But it's funny because your leaders don't even live in your communities. 
They don't even live in your. They that money went. It, it did absolutely nothing for you and your families. You got played. So Umar takes your money just like BLM, and it circulates in Caucasian communities. Umar has no problem sleeping in Caucasian-owned hotels. That is what it is. And I don't have a problem with him doing that. I think that's awesome, right? But it's funny because he's pro-black. Why is he spending money in Caucasian businesses and services and products and goods? Umar has no problem spending money, um, again, trips to, you know, like different places, airlines, airplanes, hotels. He has no problem eating Caucasian food, water, breathes their air. All that with your money. All that with your money. I can guarantee Omar has no problem eating Caucasian owned food or made food. I'm sure he buys products and services owned by Caucasians. Omar lives on YouTube and YouTube is owned by Caucasians. So Omar is by far the biggest Caucasian supporter on earth. Just by how he moves, just by what he does alone, he supports Caucasians. And there's no problem with that. I don't think there's a problem supporting Hispanics, Asians, whomever. My thing is this. If the product or service or good benefits you, buy it, support it. Whether it's owned by so-called blacks, so-called Caucasians, it doesn't matter about the race. Just it's, it's a great business or service or product or good. Support it. That should, that should be the way you think. I support good businesses and services, and that's it. I don't care if you're black owned. If you suck, you just suck. That's just how I look at it. I just do not care about this race stuff. But and I don't care because I know it's all nonsense. Only silly people believe this stuff. Silly people cannot think for themselves. And I'm not a silly person. That's why I can do whatever I want. That's why I can marry who I want in terms of a woman. Buy whatever goods and services I want because I support anything that's good. The point is this again race. If there's anything you take away from this, this video, walk away from this understanding that race in 2024 and in the past has been nothing but big booming business. Everyone's making money but you. Everyone's everyone knows how to finesse you by just playing their race card. That's the business. That's the finesse. And that's the part that sadly some people cannot seem to comprehend in 2024. All these pro-black leaders are nothing but actors and actresses. They care nothing about so-called black people. Believe me. And to me, listen, I don't think they're doing anything wrong besides finessing you. Because if they want to support Caucasians, I think they have all the right to do so. Why not? You can date who you want because you have a preference. That's exactly what it is. That's all it is. Some people prefer dating someone that's lighter, darker. Some people prefer a person or people that's taller or short, wide, whatever. You get my point. It's just a preference. It has nothing to do with the race. But because it's profitable to keep preaching Black men should marry so-called black women because if they don't do it, they hate themselves. I mean, when you hear that, you 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 instantly want to hear what this person or people are talking about. That's crazy to say. That's like a really that's like clickbait. You cannot you want to hear what is this person talking about? It sells. It gets views. It gets likes. It's money. What part do you not understand about what I'm saying? Race is a booming business. That's all that stuff is. And if you want to participate on the nonsense, you will keep getting finesse every single time. The next BLM will have no problem finessing people like you because you are not a critical thinker. What do I mean by critical thinking? Do you, do you even know what it means? Basically, you think for yourself. You may hear or consume some type of content or information, but instead of you adopting whatever they're saying, you go and seek your own research or, or investigation to see if whatever that person or source, like whatever information they're telling you or you know sharing with you is valid. You can do this only, <laughs> when I talk, you can only do this by being a thinker doing your own investigation and see it for yourself, not letting another source see it for you and think for you. And now that becomes your reality. That's all Omar BLM does. 
They think for silly people who cannot think for themselves. And these silly people are constantly getting finessed, finessed, excuse me, out of their pockets. Let me stop right here. Like I said before, race is a business. Much love. Thanks for watching this video. Once again, support by becoming a member of this of the of the email list. <laughs> Oh, I said that right. It's in it's in wokenations.com again with course careers. More information down below to land a job in tech, earning some really good money, and live a fulfilling life. Much love to you. Let me get up out of here. My wife has come home. I'm gonna have dinner with her. And I thank you so very much for watching and supporting. Peace out.